Start with a clean piece of parchment and an edible marker. And let your drawing creativity flow. I'll be including a link to this edible marker pack that I'm using in the description below. If you have something that needs to be perfectly symmetrical, fold your parchment in half and trace over your first drawing. This will ensure you have two perfectly matched pieces of royal icing. Next, flood in your design. I used a firmer flood consistency for this example. It's probably about 10 to 12 second icing. And I outlined with a stiffer icing about 15 seconds just to ensure that it didn't run into my colors and I had a nice crisp edge. Once I was done, I put this into my oven at 125 degrees on dehydrate mode for about 20 minutes. If you don't have a dehydrate mode or a dehydrator, you can let this air dry, but it will take several hours. Once you're sure your design is completely dry, you can peel it off the parchment. Because this was a little bit larger and very flat, I used this plastic scraper to slide underneath my wing and easily pop it off. The scraper is from Sweet Sugar Bell. And that's it. Once your transfers are off, you can go ahead and place them on your cookie, your cake, whatever design you're making. To see how I attached these wings to make it look like a butterfly in flight, check out my other tutorial on the 3D cupcake cookie with butterfly.